Hey, it is Sunday afternoon. Just wanted to check in, see what's going on. Hopefully my volume is going well. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just getting rare in here on a Sunday afternoon. Wanted to check in. Mojo, how is everybody? You thought we'd get a quick couple questions. Anyone uh, want to go live, let me know. Javier, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joey, love you too, my friend. Mac Daddy in the house. Got to check it out. Uh, let's load it up with some questions. Ray, give me a question, my friend. How are you? Samir, hey, give me a question. I'm uh, raring to go. We'll try to go live real quick with somebody. And... Uh, Load up the questions on that Gary B. Hustle. Heck yeah. Daniel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to go live real quick. Answer a few questions. Join me anytime. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm alive. What's the good word? So what is the topic about? Any, any question you need answered. Anything I need to answer. Okay. So uh, is, it, is it, it has to be in a business field or personal life or what? Anything, kind of man. Anything? It's like Charlie Brown, buddy. Question. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. So uh, how we can boost our energy, how we can not to give up, how, to, how we can push ourselves every day how we can achieve faster than before. That's my first question. The second question is, uh, one of the most challenge I have is how we can, I can find investor because I have tons of plan. I need to focus on that, but I need investor. How can I find them? Because I know that people is gonna stick to someone who is greater than himself or better than himself or at least in the same level. So I'm not a kind of that rich guy. So I need someone like that. I need a mentor. Of course I need a mentor. So, but I'm so passionate about to be an investor one day and I was, I want to help everyone to grow, grow like me. So there how you, you can help us, please let us know. Yeah. And thank you very much. First, you know, on the uh, inspiration side, I think the energy, the motivation, inspiration, conversion, all comes from your understanding that you're always connected to this unbelievable source of energy. And that when you're not feeling it, we want to distinguish why not. What is creating the interference corrosion to that connection, to that unbelievable power? And that's the consistent practice that's what will allow you to get what you want. That's what will allow you to be more productive, accessible, and gracious in your life. Productive meaning providing value to others, accessible meaning accessible to others, but also asking, accessing what you want by asking, do you know one that can help me by getting that mentorship? The easiest way to get what you want is that's right, what? Know what you want. And if you know what you want, go find someone that has what you want and ask them either to give it to you or to teach you how to get it. That's the easiest way. And so if you're looking for investment, you need to have credibility, emotional attachment. You need to be able to articulate a quantifiable reason, impact, and capability that you have in order to effectuate a secured return on investment according to the person's aligned time and risk tolerance. And to do that, you need to do the work. Right? You can't just say, I have a good idea, I need an investment. You need to be credible. You need to have an emotional attachment. You need to be able to articulate a fair business investment so you can come to a logical conclusion. Hey, do you see any reason you want, want to invest? Here's the opportunity. I'm credible. There's an emotional attachment. Here's the quantifiable reasons why you're going to make money. Here's the quantifiable impact why you're going to make money. And here's the capabilities that I have or will have with your investment in order to effectuate that. So number one, know what you're connected to. Number two, don't cheat the system. Find the what, that's right, what you want and who has it, and then be credible, have the emotional attachment and the reasons, impacts and capabilities articulated in a quantifiable manner so that everybody will want and can see according to their aligned time and risk tolerance that you're the right investment for them. Does that sound fair? 
Done. All right. Makes sense. Thank you. Let's go on to the next question. We appreciate everybody joining me. Thank you so much. It's a little Sunday afternoon action. Thought I'd get uh, a little impromptu Q&A. How can I apply your experience to my life when circumstances are so different? What's not different about the circumstances are the values. And so what you want to do is align the values. And those values are really simple. One, you want to have the gracious perspective of gratitude. You want to find the light, the love, and the lessons in everything you do. So my experience, your experience, doesn't matter. If you're looking for the light, the love, and the lessons, if you know pain is just an indicator, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial pain is an indicator that you have a lesson to learn, trust me, that applies to everyone. Two, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the means that will undo all the untruths. Forgiveness is the means that will undo the untruths. It will give you peace. It will allow you to feel that connection that we were talking about just previous year with the live. Find that forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Give forgiveness to others. Forgiveness will unwind. It's the means to unwind all the untruths that you've created for yourself. Accountability. Another one, no matter what your circumstances are, mine, yours, or anyone else's, you need to take control of your life. You need to be 100% accountable. Ask yourself, what did I do to attract this to myself, and what am I supposed to learn from it? And if you do those three things, gratitude, empathy, or forgiveness, accountability, you will start to clear away the interference, the corrosion between that great source of power and you, so that you will live an inspired being life that will allow the coincidences to happen. When you pay attention and give intention to what you want, those coincidences will occur. Uh, let's go ahead and answer a couple more questions. What's up, David? All love from me, just active. Stay active, no busy, you got it. There's no such thing as busy, there's just active. Activity, you get paid for activity, you don't get paid for. You got to focus in on what you have planned, what you don't have planned, and your sleep. Remember to have an unwinding routine in order to sleep efficiently, effectively, and really clear that connection. How long it took you from the moment you lost everything to the moment you decided to start up again? One day. It took me one day to look up so I could get up. It took me one day to make a plan to connect the dots backwards that I was going to focus strictly on making a lot of money to help a lot of people and have a lot of fun, that I was going to continue regardless of where I was financially. I was going to continue to receive so I can give. I was no longer going to negotiate with others. I wasn't living in a quid pro quo universe of the more that I give, the more that I get. It's the more that I receive, the more that I can give. And that's what I focus in on is creating that abundance, living in a world of more than enough, more than enough of everything to everyone. And that's where you want to live as well. Happy Sunday. I know this is a rare for you, Nick, you little stud. How do you overcome self-doubt? I don't think you could ever overcome self-doubt. I think what you want to do is practice uh, the moments that you have self-doubt, putting yourself back into clarity. So when I have self-doubt, I get clarity of why I'm doubtful. Balance, I balance them in my values, which I take inventory of every day. My personal, experiential, giving and receiving values, which I take every single day balance of. And then I get focused. I pay attention to what? That's right, what? The what that I want. And I give intention to what? That's right, the what that I want according to the values that are aligned, supplementary, synergistic to what? Yep, that's right, what I want. And then those coincidences happen more rapidly and accurately. And that's what I do in order to get clarity, balance, and focus when I have self-doubt. It just speeds up the process of getting out of self-doubt where you want to be is out of self-doubt. Everybody has self-doubt. I have self-doubt. I just get out of it quicker. I don't live there in years, months, weeks, days, hours, no, just moments. Moments when I have self-doubt, I utilize my inventory of values, clarity, balance, and focus to get out. A little bit of rhyme. It is a Sunday. Give me some levity on what day it is to have a little bit of fun. I have three years of self-experience and movement. How can I do business with that on a social without taking, shoot, I don't see the rest of that. Uh, I would be consistent and persistent with your valuable content i would continue just to bomb out there that authenticity in the spectrum of what you do continue to find that spectrum of people that are in that same wavelength if you know tim grover or pat riley i would love to volunteer and learn from the best uh i have met both of them both great guys why don't we uh, figure out how we can reach out and ask them to be of service and see you know never hurts to ask and continue to ask 
see how anybody can help you. There, things are going too good lately. Never, that's impossible. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, things are continuing to consistently and persistently pursue your potential. Never can go too good. I struggle my whole life and don't know how to enjoy it without fear. <laughs> well, look, you're already destroying it. Look, you live in a world of more than enough. You are worthy of everything that you have. Tell yourself that you are worthy of everything that you have. You are worthy of everything you have. So this is just a starting point. All the aggregate of all that you've done, you have been touched with the favor and the benefit of the promotion from doing what you were supposed to do by doing good deeds, by being a good person, by learning and growing and accelerating. And now you're reaping the awards and rewards of all the seeds that you planted. You had planted seeds and watered the seeds and had pain and learned the lessons. So now it's harvest time. Enjoy the harvest. You're more than enough worthy for that harvest. Trust me. How to increase self-love and self-value. Once again, that is a practice. Remind yourself how much you love yourself and how much you value what you do for others. Do more for others. Do more good deeds. You will value yourself even more and more and more. Let's go live uh, real quickly with somebody else. And there's so many different people on here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, how to learn to shake your head and laugh. My life is like Kevin movie. Yeah, don't take yourself so seriously. Seriously, rule number six. All right, we got the top of the closet. What's going on? Focus in. Give me a question or I'm going to have to dump it. We got too many people waiting. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? Uh, no? All right, we gave it a shot. Hi, Judy. Welcome. Welcome. Here we go. What a bummer when that happens. Let's grab somebody else and go live. You know what I like about Instagram? It is not perfect. Uh, but this person is close to perfect. I'm being selfish. I'm going to get. Hey. Hey. Ah, Julie, come here. Miles, what are we doing? <laughs> come here. You got to see this. Come here quick. Aw. He wants to say hi to you. You guys got to. It's a reunion. So a question. Me why we're, break. we're both working right now, and Alex is working on. Hey, Julie. <laughs> Uptime. How's it going? So Alex, take it away. In Colorado Springs, I got a little Olympic committee meeting and took everyone for some whitewater rafting and horseback right. and we're at the Broadmoor. Have you guys ever been there? Awesome. I have not been whitewater rafting there, but it looks beautiful. We went in Montana, I think. Yeah, with the cousins. Years ago, it was a good time. With yeah. Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. Can you believe it, Maryland going? Yeah. All right, I got a question for you, Dave. All right, so I'm considering a new venture. And I've got a buddy who can provide all kinds of strategic uh, value. But, you know, I like the idea of owning 100% of my business. What should I be thinking about um, when I'm thinking about bringing on people before I even have a product developed? Yeah, well, look, you got to align with what they want. So if you're bringing on people, first, you want to get their capabilities that are synergistic to your values, right? Th those values that you have. And then figure out equity-wise, cash-wise, whatever their expectations are, then seek mentorship, right? There's so many people out there that have structured deals like this for years and years and years that know, you know, different types of, of shares of stock that you can do to accommodate people without giving up voting rights. There's a variety of different things as far as uh, convertible debentures for performance. Uh, there's all types of different opportunities. But the first thing to do when you're looking to bring on partners is really get aligned with the capabilities Find out where those are synergistic and supplementary to this great idea that you have, this great venture that you have, and it, a commitment from someone in writing, but seek mentorship when it comes down to that time. Somebody that has structured a ton of different deals so that you can make sure that you don't pay the dummy tax that thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs have paid because yeah. they try to figure it out on their own, like your dumb cousin right here. He's our, don't double, oh. our family's already paid a ton of dummy tax. Don't double pay. You can just nice. pay. <laughs> I love it. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I've got a couple cousins who I could pull on for some mentorship. I'm looking at one right now. So. A lot of smart cousins, that's for sure. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dave. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. That couch right there. Love Mercial. you. Love you so much. We love, love you. Thank Bye. you. Hey, as good as Justin Bieber, Alex? Better. Always. Better. Alex Always. Justin Bieber. Now he's gone live with Dave Meltzer and Justin Bieber. I'm doing a live concert tonight. He's opening for me. I'm the main event, but he's opening. It's going to be good. I mean, I'm watching for sure.
Sweet. <laughs> All right, man. Peace love and love. Thank you so much. Bye. Yes, she always makes me happy. <laughs> That's and awesome. Best. Happiness habitat. Thank you for reaching out. All right, got a little selfish there, my faves. Those are my cousins. Super smart, super awesome. Hey, don't forget pitch competition this Friday. Should have told Alex to come. This Friday pitch competition is my training. If you miss training Friday on networking, it'll be uh, replayed on my playbook uh, tomorrow, Monday. It's replayed. All the replays are on YouTube. They're always free. My training's free. That stuff's free. Dummy tax is not free, by the way. Uh, very, very cool. Um, and join me Friday. Go ahead, email me, david at dmelter.com if you want to register for free. If you want my book for free, go ahead. You want the networking guide from last week? Free, free, free. David at dmelter.com. You want to join my text community and get that stuff for free as well? 949-298-2905. Let's grab another question. Uh, really happy here. What is the most valuable lesson you learned from the past week? Um, the promotion uh, and uh, I'm going to have to grab it from my heart here uh, that, you know, um, something promo promotion. In, what was it that gives me promotion? Oh, yes. Honoring those most relative to you. Honoring those in that which is most relative to you will give you promotion and a touch of favor uh, for that which you honor. And honor, to me, is giving my best attention and intention uh, to those or that which is most relative to me. Honor, you don't, you don't have to abide, but you can honor uh, that which is most relative. Example, uh, those people who love us, that give us advice, honor it. You don't have to listen to it, but honor it. You don't have to agree with your parents, relatives, friends, etc., but honor them. Uh, pay attention and give them intention uh, and decide and vote for what you want in the end. But when you honor all that is relative to you, you will receive promotion and a touch of favor uh, for that. So, um, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Anyway, let's get another one. That's a good question, Nick. Thanks. What do you think about investing in property? I love investing in things that are aligned with the time and risk tolerance that I have. You should be in love with investing in things that have and are aligned with the time and risk tolerance that you have. In order to figure that out, you need to find someone that sits in a situation, what? That's right, what? That sits in what you want. And go ahead and ask them what they think according to your timing and risk tolerance when you're investing. Tons of different great things to invest, tons of great things at all times that are oversold. I love to buy things that are oversold and sell them when they're overbought. That's the margins of millionaires. It's a lesson I've learned through the dummy tax. And I love to find the people that are experts in telling me when something is oversold and when something is overbought. All right. Very, very good. Let's get through these things here. Very good. Advice for patients for a new father with uh, patience. There's this great blend, right? I want to live my life totally as an in impatient person and with patience. Meaning I want to work as if it has to happen yesterday, but I want to allow it to happen at the right way at the perfect time. Listen to what I'm saying. I want to work, right? Activity I get paid for, activity I don't get paid for. I want to pro be productive and accessible and gracious with my time as if it has to happen yesterday, but have the allowance in me to let it happen at the right way at the perfect time. No better advice for a new father, right? Be that way. You, got, you must be what you can be to be the best father that you can. Every single thing for that child as if it has to happen yesterday, but allow it to happen at the right way at the, at the perfect time. Know that your child is not for you. It is through you. Uh, and you are supposed to love and appreciate uh, that child. Make sure it's happy, healthy, love it and appreciate it. That's it. Make sure it's happy, it's healthy, love and appreciate it. You got it? All right. Work with it. Very good. Um, all right. I'm going to take one. Let me just check real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, let me, the finance kid. I don't think I've ever had the finance kid. This would be interesting. Going a little longer than uh, I thought I would, but it's a Sunday afternoon. I, this or golf, right? Uh, I'm going with this. <laughs> anyway, oh, the finance kid dumped us. 
uh, here to help us love and obsession right on, Danny. Very good. All right, let's take one more question. Marky Brazil, I think. What's up, brother? Uh, what's one thing you know that you wish your past self knew when dealing with people who don't see what? No doubt, radical humility. 12, 22, 32, 42, or 52. Radical humility. The rule number six, I, I, I literally, I cannot take myself too seriously. I don't know what I don't know. Think about that statement. I don't know what I don't know. There's a billion variables of facts and things out there. And if I have the capacity to hold three to five of them in the forefront of my mind, in the front part of the cortex of my mind, how humble must I be? How much could I know? How much could I know? How much did Einstein know? John Astaroff is right around the corner from me. I am here at, uh, what the heck, at the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs. I'm going to jump in my little car and come see you, my brother. I love you. If anyone is not following John Astaroff, you're making a big mistake. Because when I'm talking about billions of variables and billions of facts out there that we don't know, this guy knows more facts than most people and has such an enlightened perspective of finding the light, the love, and the lessons and everything finding ways to be productive, to live a happy, healthy uh, life with love and appreciation. And uh, I would uh, also send my love to his beautiful wife, Marie. So mwah. Julie's here with me and Miles. We might uh, go two weeks. Look at him. Let's go see John Asroff. What do you say? All right. John, I may just jump in the car and see you. Uh, anyway, I digress. I Please. <laughs> Julie's like it's five hours from here. <laughs> Private planes are made for five-hour trips. All right. Anyway, we love everyone. John, thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Uh, let's take one more question. I'll do a little. Uh, John Astroff such a great mentor of mine. He'll be like, look, see, I taught David that. Love Goya, John Astroff taught me. Get off your ass as everyone's taking a nap on a Sunday afternoon. What's Dave Meltzer talking about? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, can you elaborate more about values inventory? Yes, absolutely. I believe you should take inventory of your values. There's four types of values that I categorize. I have personal values, my love, integrity, character, things like that. I have experiential values. Uh, you know, what do I want to do today? It's Sunday. What do I want to do? Productive, accessible, gracious things with that. How much value can I provide today? You know, am I going to do an Instagram live? Right? Is there a balance within my family and love and everybody's taking a nap? Man, I'm jumping on. I want to be productive and accessible and gracious, finding the life and love lessons. So personal values, experiential values, giving values. What can I do to provide value to others? And receiving values. How accessible am I to what I want? How quickly and rapidly and accurately am I getting what I want to allow it to come through me with appreciation for others? When I take inventory of those values every day, I cannot be afraid of being a hypocrite. Because if I'm not a hypocrite, then I'm not growing, accelerating, and learning. I am not the same person, right? When I go into tomorrow, I hope that I have to tell people, you know what, I was wrong. I learned something. Let me help you. I paid the dummy tax. Pain, as I told you, is an indicator. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial pain is an indicator. I have a lesson to learn. Woo! I learned the lesson. Now, you don't have to. Here's the lesson. I am a hypocrite. I am radically humble. I don't know what I don't know, but I am enjoying the consistent every day, persistent without quit, pursuit of my potential, my values that I take inventory of every day, not being able to be afraid of being a hypocrite and changing those values. Please, if you don't take inventory of values, it's so hard to get aligned. It's so hard to find the synergistic and supplementary business and personal opportunities in your life. It's so hard to pay attention to and give attention to we have planned during the day. The things we don't don't have planned during the day. And of course our sleep and even having an unwinding routine for that sleep. What a great way to end on our values. What a great way to end with my dear friend John Astroff joining us as well, as well as everybody else. Uh, Carla, I missed you on that live. We will do this again. Please join me on Friday free training pitch competition this Go backwards, watch all the old ones. They're all free. My guides are free. My books are free. That's david at dmelzer.com. Join my text community, 949-298-2905. Remember, everybody, it's simple out there. I don't care. Mass, no mass, all lives, black lives. It doesn't matter. There's one golden rule. 
one golden rule, be kind. And be kind to your future self and do good deeds. I promise you, no matter what you think, if you make the kind choice, you've made the right choice. You've made the benevolent choice. You've made the abundant choice. You've made the happy choice. You've made the healthy choice. I promise you, be kind to your future self. Do good deeds. Have a wonderful Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow.